with the global success of Squid Game and a slew of other international hits, 2021 will go down in history as a pivotal year for Korean drama series. While global streaming platforms played a large role in this, investing heavily in high-concept shows that had previously been unavailable in the Korean market, it was a fantastic year for Korean small-screen programming in general. Korea's cable and broadcast networks stepped up to the plate offering a wide range of high-quality programs to appeal to a wide range of preferences. It takes some terrible sacrifices to reduce all of these successes to just 15 titles, but with that done, here are picks for the best Korean dramas of 2021, ranked from good to great. 15. The Penthouse Season 2 The Penthouse, last year's McYoung, Korean soap opera, blockbuster, has returned to our screens for a second season, with the ne'er-do-wells of Hera Palace up to mischief once more. Season 2 didn't quite reach the sleazy heights of the first, but there was plenty to appreciate in what was yet another witty collection of episodes. Season 3 premiered in the summer, but the novelty had worn off by that point. 14. Vincenzo Song Joong-ki made his comeback to the big screen in February, first in the Netflix sci-fi action film Space Sweepers and then in Vincenzo as Vincenzo Cassano, a sophisticated Italian-Korean lawyer for the mob who returns to Korea. In order to take on the evil Babel group and its larger-than-life CEO, played by OK Taesion, he teams up with Joan Yo Feisty Ben's lawyer and the colorful residents of a decaying commercial building. Vincenzo is a rambunctious, if occasionally unmanageable, character who is infectiously fun. 13. Mine. This year, there were several high society dramas starring women, but mine was the one that really hit home. The play had all of the usual trappings, including a glimpse into the rarefied upper levels of Korean society, with backstabbing business family members plotting against one another in spectacular clothes on magnificent sets, unlike its more superficial counterparts. However, mine's idea of female unity came through loud and clear and resonated with audiences. 12. Mr. Queen Shin Hae-sun stars as a modern male chef who magically transforms into the body of a noble woman in Joseon-era Korea who is ready to marry the king in the body swap period rom-com Mr. Queen. The pop culture references are spot on, with many highlighting antiquated patriarchal conventions, and the lovely cooking montages serve as excellent interludes in an engrossing story of royal court romance and duplicity. 11. Sell Your Haunted House Real estate inequality is one of the most popular subjects in Korean cinema these days, and the spooky rom-com Sell Your Haunted House gave it a fresh spin this year. When she isn't gorging on Korean fast food during her daily off hours, Jang Nari shines as one of the year's best small screen leads, portraying a goth-styled exorcist chasing spirits out of buildings so they can be put on the market. 10. Novel Era this ballet-themed joy for all ages is arguably the tiniest series the prolific Song Kang has appeared in recently, but it could be the best thing he's done yet. The actor portrays a youthful ballet dancer who teaches a retired man, Park in Won, who aspires to dance on stage before Alzheimer's disease stops him from doing so. As they progress towards a cathartic conclusion, their emotional journey has a lived-in, authentic feel to it. 9. On the Verge of Insanity on the Verge of Insanity, a workplace drama starring veteran actors Moon So Ri and Yoon Jae Young, is one of the year's most understated K-drama treats. While the stakes are low and the story never threatens to become a romance, this is a mature tale that delves into the mundane realities of office politics in a Korean corporation with expert characterizations and performances that immerse us in the protagonist's minor conflicts, setbacks, and triumphs. 8. One Ordinary Day one Ordinary Day, a remake of the first season of BBC's Criminal Justice, was Coupon Play's first foray into the K-drama world. Kim soo Young plays a college student who wakes up in a dead woman's house and is jailed for her murder in this courtroom and prison drama, which was previously remade as HBO's The Night Of. This addictively entertaining version has a fantastic supporting cast that includes Cha Soon Won, Kim Sung Kyu, and Lee Sol, among others. 7. Yumi's Cells. This live-action, animation mix, which is evocative of Pixar's Inside Out, follows a single young working woman as she navigates a new relationship, and we get a first-hand look at how her brain cells are dealing with it. In this fascinating and instantly familiar romance tale, 
Kim Go Yoon plays the titular character, which manages to be sweet and heartfelt without ever falling into schmaltz. 6. Happiness. Think you've seen it all when it comes to K-Zombies? Think again. Happiness is a simple but very fascinating apartment survival story about inhabitants quarantined in a residential high-rise, where they must deal with a zombie-like sickness and a slew of prejudices among the socio-economic classes of their impromptu group. Han Hyo-yo is excellent in the starring role, and she and Park Young-sik have great chemistry as cops trying to keep the peace in the building. 5. Dr. Brain with the six-part sci-fi action noir Dr. Brain, both Apple TV Plus and master filmmaker Kim Ji-woon made their Korean drama debuts. Lee Sun-kyun, Parasite, plays as a researcher who experiments with brain synchronization technology in order to solve the mystery surrounding his son's abduction and his wife's spiral into madness in this hyper-stylized cyberpunk journey. The show's outstanding action sequences are directed by Kim with a visual flair rarely seen in Korean dramas. 4. Hellbound. With the thrilling Netflix horror thriller Hellbound, based on a webtoon he co-wrote with Choi Kyu-sok, film director Yun Songo, trained to Pusan, made his TV debut in spectacular style. Demons from the abyss descend upon Earth to hunt down humans whose fates have been predetermined by an unknown being. In this dark and gritty series about the underbelly of Korean culture, a cult climbs to power and society spirals into religious hysteria. As it joyously toy with our expectations, the program is chock full of thrilling set pieces and enormous narrative twists. 3. DP. In Han Joon's spectacular He's Webtoon adaption DP, Yong Hae-in plays a teenage conscript assigned to an unit tasked with pursuing down deserters. South Korea's severe mandatory military service is put under scrutiny. This intriguing investigation of the South Korean military combines camaraderie and tension, culminating in the year's best climax with a sad finish that garnered high appreciation from Korean viewers, particularly guys who had undergone the grueling hazing that the military is known for. A second season was recently confirmed by Netflix. 2. Squid Game Huang Dong World Conquering Hyuk's Squid Game, the most successful Netflix series of all time with 142 million subscribers reported during its introduction, could not reasonably be left out of any 2021 wrap-up. In the show, 456 cash-strapped people unwittingly sign up for a series of dangerous twists on playground activities in order to compete for a cash reward of $45.6 million. The sets and costumes transform this violent and macabre message against global capitalism into an eternally memeable event that caught the zeitgeist in a way that few other stories have. Huang is said to be planning a return to the Squid Game in the near future. 1. Beyond Evil In the superb crime thriller Beyond Evil, Shin Ha Kyun shines in the character he was born to portray. As a search for a deadly serial killer in the countryside unfolds, this memories of murder for the small screen sets a hotshot young detective, Yo Jin Gu, against a jaded rural police, Shen. This JTBC series elevated Korean crime dramas to new heights with ingenious twists, outstanding writing, a riveting atmosphere, and remarkable performances. We can't wait to see how future programs respond to the challenge.